What's up, Millennial Cash Flow fam? So today, I'm gonna give you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how to navigate the Amazon Seller Mobile app while trying to search and or list your products in Amazon. So stay with us and let's get this money. Welcome back. So what we have here is the Amazon Seller app. This is the app that you can manage the majority of your sales and, and or inventory on Amazon. So I'll give you a quick walkthrough on how to find or how to search for the, the various products that you may have that you wanna list and sell on Amazon. Just to name off a few, you can use the Amazon Seller app to scan pictures, to scan barcodes, to manually search, and I'm gonna walk you through all those various ways to, to get to your items in Amazon. So first up, I'm gonna show you how to search for your items by scanning for the barcode. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is click the camera icon at the top right portion of the app. And then you'll then scan the barcode of your item that you plan to sell. So this is a quick verification process that I usually go through to make sure that I have the correct inventory that I plan to list. So I am trying to list the happening DVD by Fox. So here, there's not that many um, different listings, but there are two listings for this particular item. The first one is the one that I'm gonna use, which is the, the sales ranking of 22,912. So I will click that, that listing. See here, this item has over 4,000 reviews uh, and has pretty good ranking. So this is probably gonna sell pretty quickly. If you look down, you'll see that there are five FBA offers uh, starting at $14.91. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to step-by-step -step list this particular item. So at the bottom right cor hand corner of the app, you'll see a plus symbol with the words list. So we'll go ahead and click that. Once you go to list your item, you'll see this page. Uh, it'll have the descripting, descriptive information like the ASIN, the UPC, the sales ranking again, and various pricing information. So when I scroll down, this is pretty quick and pretty simple. So for my standard price, I'm gonna go ahead and sell it just like the other FBA uh, sellers and sell it for $14.91. Um, since this particular DVD is still in the packaging, I will se select it as a new condition. And if you are an FBA seller, uh, you will make sure this bottom button here is clicked, which is Amazon will ship and provide customer service uh, for your item. If you are planning to merchant fulfill your items, you will click the this button up here at the top. For this particular item is pretty much it. From here, I'll go ahead and click save and finish. And then it'll then redirect you to your manage inventories section. Another feature in the Amazon seller app that you can use in order to list or search and or list your products is you will click the, the camera icon again at the top hand corner of the page. But instead of clicking and searching for the barcode, you can take a picture of the actual product itself. So here is a book that I found in Goodwill for $1.99. And it's called the Final Quest Trilogy, and it has a sales ranking of 60,264. From based on my sales experience and sales history, I've learned that Anything under a million for books is probably gonna sell pretty decent and have a pretty good sell through rate. Um, this particular item uh, has 505 star reviews, which is really good, and uh, has uh, four FBA offers starting at 2133. Um, this particular book that I found is used, uh, but is in pretty good condition, so I will, I will list that appropriately. I am not going to uh, sell this particular item for $21.33 primarily because Amazon has it as you can see here clicked in a new category for $23.70 so to ensure that I have a pretty decent sales rate I'm gonna go ahead and drop this book this down to about $19.99 and I'll show you what it'll look like once I start to put put in those numbers I'm going to list this item for $19.99 and I spent $1.99 on this particular book. So with this book at the sale rate of $19.99, I will net $8.06 profit. You can click list 
the bottom right corner. And just like the last example, you will see uh, the same options. There's one added uh, thing that you'll have to do when listing books, and that's your standard price and your list price. So for here, I usually put in the same price that I plan to sell twice. So $19.99, two times. And the difference for your books, for anything that you're planning to sell, is your condition. Like I mentioned before, my book is used, um, but I'm gonna put this in used, but in very good condition. Ensure the Amazon that Amazon will sh ship and provide customer services is checked. And again, if you are a fulfilled by merchant, you will click the top box. Once that is done, I will click save and finish. So next up, I'll show you the various ways that you can search for your, your item manually. So here you will click the button, add a pro product, and you'll get a search Amazon to sell button at the top. Uh, in this particular area, you can scan or search for your, your products three different ways. Uh, you can type in the name of the product, which I'll walk you through and show you how to do that. You can search by the ASIN, which is the Amazon standard identification number that Amazon affixes to every uh, product that they sell on their, on their platform. Or you can search by UPC of the specific product. So at this time, I have a particular product that I wanna list. So I can just put the name of the product in and select the op option with the closest uh, name. So once you're here, you're gonna wanna verify which one matches your particular product. Uh, because when you do the search by product name, there's going to be tons of listings that'll come up and you just wanna make sure that you have the correct ounces, you have the correct sizes, the description, those things associated with your particular product that you wanna list. So for me, it's the first item that pops up. So I'll go ahead and select that item. So this particular item has five FBA offers, 162 reviews, and has a seller ranking of 75,578. Uh, this is gonna probably sell really quick. Again, we're gonna go down to the bottom right portion, click list, and just like the other options, we're gonna put our sales price of $29.95. My product is in new condition, and again, I will be having Amazon ship this particular item. Scroll down, save and finish. Another option that you have to look up items that you're planning to list is a, the add a product feature again. So again, we're gonna click here and you'll get that same search function. So now, this time we're gonna use the UPC, uh, the numbers below the barcode on your particular products to look up an item. So I have a UPC ready here. I'll paste it in that area, search, and voila, your product shows up. Um, when I, I see when you tend to use UPCs, uh, there tend to be a lot less listings for you to parse through since it's uh, fixed to the specific product. And this time I won't list this item, but again, this is just a way that you can search products in the Amazon seller app. Last up, we'll be using an ASIN or the Amazon standard identification number, which is again, unique to each product and Amazon affixes for each listing to look up your product. So here, I'll paste the ASIN for a product that I plan to search. And again, similar to using a UPC, uh, it tends to come up with a lot less amount of listings uh, for that particular item. So here, the Grey's Anatomy Season 8 DVD is what I plan to look up and search. Go through a few other features that Amazon, the Amazon Seller app has. Uh, to look up particular items. So if you're lazy like me and you sell with a partner or a significant other, another interesting feature you can do so you don't have to keep typing in uh, the different product names or looking up UPCs or trying to copy and paste ASINs is looking at the history button because oftentimes you're going to be looking up the same items over and over again 
because one, one you either clicked off the page or you'll see the product again sometime in the future. Another feature is the favorites tab. And this is where it will show all of the items that you've clicked favorite on. So what I use the favorites for is things that I plan to search now uh, and list later. So for instance, if I click the favorites tab, I only have one item favorited, um, but here it will list all of the ones that you've starred and or favorited to be able to go back to see. That's all I have for you guys today. Uh, what I plan to do is put out another video that shows you how to use the Amazon seller dashboard in the web browser to list and or search your uh, products as well. And that'll be linked here. And if you like this content and you want to see more, please like and subscribe. It definitely helps us out. Now let's get this money.